Praise the name of Jesus. 
If it had not been for him this morning, none of us would be here. So we are here to give him thanks. We are here to exalt him. We are here to lift him up. Because he's worthy to be praised. Can we stand in the name of Jesus? God is worthy and he's worthy and he's worthy. We know the time is hot. Thanks be to the almighty God. Because a couple months down the road we'll be saying it's cold. But we thank God that today he afforded us the opportunity to be in here at this time. And John answered and said unto them, whether it be right in the sight of God Amen. to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. Amen. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorify God for that which was done. Amen. But a man was about 40 years old on whom this miracle of healing was showed. And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with Amen. one accord and said, Lord, yes. thou art God, Amen. which has made heaven and earth Lord, and the sea Lord. and all that is there is. Amen. Who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? Amen. The kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. Amen. For offer truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, were gathered, to, were gathered together for to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done. Yes, Lord. And now, Lord, yes, Lord. behold their threatening yes, Lord. and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness yes. that they may speak thy word Amen. by stretching forth thy hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child, Jesus. Amen. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost Amen. and they spake the word of God with boldness. Praise. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul Neither said any of them that all of the things which he possessed was his own, but they all had all things common. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lack, but as many as were possessors of land or household sold them, and brought the prices of the things that were sold and lay them down at the apostles' feet, and distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. And Joash, who by the apostles was surnamed Barnabas, which is, be interpreted, the son of consolation, a Levite, and of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it, and brought the money, and laid it at the apostles' feet. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the, Lord Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. You may be seated. Praise the Lord Jesus. At this time, if there are any visitors, if you are visiting this church for the first time, well, I love the others to settle. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. If anyone is visiting us for the first time, could you please stand? that we might acknowledge you in Jesus name. If this is your first time visiting the Hackney Pentecostal Apostle, Praise God bless you. Jesus. God bless you. God bless Jesus. you. Praise the name of Jesus. The Jesus. On the behalf of our pastor, Pastor E.M. Douglas, all the officers and saints of the Hackney Pentecostal Apostolic Church, we greet and welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of your, your father's house. And as you come today and you see us worshiping, worship him. Because he died that you might live. God bless you while you take your seat in Jesus' name. Lord, in the grave he lay. Jesus, my Savior,
Jesus that cannot keep him praying. He will the far away. Jesus our Lord. He's alive and he's alive and he's alive and he's alive. Praise the name of Jesus. We are serving a true and living God. Praise the name of Jesus. So we're here to give him the glory. We are not bowing down to wood and stone. Praise the name of Jesus. But we are looking to him by faith. Praise the name of Jesus. He is alive. And he's very well. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Christ arose. And he arose one day in our heart. And that's why we are here this afternoon to say to God be the glory. Glory to God in the highest. Great things he has done. So love in the world that he gave us his son. Who needed his life and atonement for sin. And he opened the life gate. Glory to God. That all men go in. Praise the name of Jesus. And that's why we are here this afternoon. Not because we are righteous more than anyone. But because of his mercy. Praise him. Glory to God. That's why we are here this afternoon. And we are here to say father. Heavenly father. We appreciate you. We love you. We adore you. Yes Jesus we bow down. Before you. Heavenly father. Heavenly Father, the Most High God, the Everlasting Father, and surely He is the Prince of Peace. Praise the name of Jesus. We're going to have an exaltation from Brother. Praise the name of Jesus. His name just with me. Praise the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Brother Jason to the church. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Up from the grave He arose. Yes, he's not dead. And if our God is not dead, we're not dead at all. Praise the name of Jesus. Let us praise the name of Jesus. Let us praise the name of Jesus. Let us praise the name of Jesus. You know, on Wednesday night, I was in, uh, in service, prayer meeting. You know, and I said that sometimes I'm going through certain situations at work and sometimes I just feel like um, giving up. I know, you know, she asked me to give an, an, an exhortation, but I'm just going to sing this song which is in a relation to what I've been going through in Jesus' name. Why? Should I feel this courage? And why should the shadows come? Tell me why should my heart For heaven and all, when Jesus is my portion, a constant friend is he.
holy and acceptable unto God which is our reasonable service and be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of our minds that we may prove what is acceptable unto God so sometimes we are going through you know certain situations and you know as a matter of fact, it was a couple of Saturdays or uh, Wednesdays ago and I said that when I was going to school, there was this guy who, was, who I considered to be a bully. And he would bully me left, right and center until one day I decided to fight back. Now, the writer said that the enemy is going to and fro, seeking whom he may devour, just like that bully. And because I look like a little person that cannot defend myself and I said that in church a couple of Wednesdays ago and believe me the enemy came in like a flood but I am here today to say why should I feel discouraged and why should the shadows come at one point I forgot 
you know, that his eyes were on the sparrow. I forgot, you know, that, you know, he watches me, which is why I want to make sure that I am presenting my body as a living sacrifice. I want to be able to walk, you know, the way, you know, God wants me to walk, to talk the way God wants me to talk and to live a life, you know, that is, that is pleasing. Not just to live a life when I'm here, but to live a life when I'm at home, to live a life when I'm at work, to live a life when I'm everywhere. Sometimes we are, you know, we are driving and some, sometimes some people want to, bad, some people, some people bad driving and you just want to say something to them. But I have to give God thanks. I have to give God thanks that everywhere I go, I want to make, I want, just want to remember that his eyes is on the sparrow Amen. and I know that he's watching me in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus, old veteran in this thing. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. And she said, No. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Brother Clifton, a short word to the church in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. I must give honor to the Lord. 
to the Spirit of God, greet our pastor, officers, brethren, visiting friend, greetings in Jesus' name. Amen. Say, keep me true, Lord Jesus. Keep me true. For there's a race that I must run, and there's a victory to be won. Give me power. Every hour, keep me true. You know, I was meditating on a scripture. I asked God, you know, I've been praising God and giving God thanks. And I said, God, beg your word to keep me. I said, God, beg your word to keep me. And when the song said, keep me true, I said, the spirit is right. And I was looking in Exodus chapter 23. And it's from verse 20. And he said, Behold, I set an angel before you to keep you in the way. He said, Provoke him not. Behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep me in the way and to bring me in the place which I have prepared. He said, Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not. For he will not pardon your transgression. For my name is in him. This is not no any and any angel. You know? This is no any and any angel. This is a special angel. As I say, it's like a pre-incarnation of Jesus Christ. Because my name is in him. And the scripture already said, there is no other name. Given on the, on the heaven where man can be saved. Amen. And this name is in him. Amen. And the name represents authority. Yes. The name represents power. Yes. Give me power every hour. Praise so Jesus Christ must be in me. Jesus Christ must be in you. To tell you the truth. Beware of him. Amen. Obey his voice. And this is why I said Jesus is from in the Old Testament. Because the Old Testament referred to the, the law. But he didn't say obey the law. He said obey his voice. Yes. So it must be Jesus. Amen. And that's why on the Mount of Transfiguration, Transfiguration yes. when they see Elijah and Moses yes. and Jesus, God said, this is my beloved son. Amen. Hear ye him. Amen. You know that Mary said to them, whatever I said and you must do, do it. She so said, obey his voice, because we will not pardon your transgression. Who else can pardon sin? More than God himself. For my name is in him. And I tell you, for my angel shall go up before thee and bring thee unto the Amorites and to the Hittites and to the Parasites, and to the Canaanites, and to the Avites, and the Jubatites, and I will cut them off. Now, those people are made up the, the, the sector in Canaan. Canaan. And it's the same sector we have in society here, you know. It represents the education, it represents the media, it represents the security force, the government. But he's telling you that don't abide by them. Because nothing they set up in this country is so, benefit Christians. Nothing that the government set up is to benefit Christians. Because they are a dynamic force. And thou shalt not bow down, their, bow down to their guns nor serve them, nor do their works, but thou shalt utterly overthrow them and quit break down their image. You don't have to show them, if you're gonna break down something that is no worthwhile to you, don't show it no respect. Because you have to destroy it because it's not for your benefit. It's not for my benefit. But thou shalt not bow down to their God. Because yes. there's no, there not no true God. No. There are no true God there. No. It's one God, yes. one faith, one baptism, one Lord and Savior. Regardless of what pressure they put you up. He said, keep me true. Yes. Keep me true. Yes. Jesus. Because you're going to go through something. There's a race. There's a race. That I must run. And there are victory to be won. And you're going to come up against persecution, oppression, trials, and tribulation. But you have to come in, my brother. I tell you, back the sweets of the victory. And he shall tell the Lord of God. And he 
shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from thee. The blessing of God, and any little food you get, they say, little bit more to it than it. But if God bless your bread and water, it shall be more refreshing, more nourishing than a big feast. Than a big feast that have no blessing. And he said, I will take sickness away from you. So whatever you eat, and God bless, it's not going to make you sicky sicky. It's not going to make you sicky sicky if God bless that food. Because he shall take sick. That, that is not going to feel like a headache, like a pain, belly ache, back ache, and so forth. That comes with the aging and time. But it's not going to stop you from giving true God worship. And he shall serve the Lord that God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from thee. And I tell you, there shall nothing cast their young and their barren in the land, and the number of that day will be fulfilled. We shall rejoice and give God grace. Give God praise. Because great is the blessed one in the midst of us. God is worthy to be praised. God is worthy to be praised. He's a deliverer. He's a provider. He's a healer. He's a blessing of our soul. You pray for me in Jesus' name. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. He's the glory and the lifter of our heads. Praise God. I think we have in our midst Dr. Stevenson and Dr. Anita from America. Can you stand that we might acknowledge you, please? Or any other visitors with you? Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. On behalf of our pastor, Pastor E.M. Douglas, all the officers and saints of the Happy Pentecostal Apostolic Church, we greet and welcome you. God bless you. Thank you for visiting with us today. God bless you. May have a seat in Jesus' name. At this time, I'm going to ask the choir to come forward and we can sing a song to the glory and honor of God in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. Once my soul was so far from the heaven, the heavenly way, I was lost and undone. Ask me, ask me, where the
One touch. Yes, one touch. Only a touch. That's all we need. Yes, one touch from the master. Praise the name of Jesus. And if we open to him today, praise the name of Jesus. We can get the touch, but we have to do something. We have to open up and let him come in. And once he touch you, you'll never be the same. You'll never and cannot be the same when Jesus touch you. Praise the name of Jesus. And you know that he touch you because the things he used to do, you do not know more. The places he used to go, you go there no more. And the things he used to say, you say them no more. They come with a great change since you were born. God bless you somebody today. As you come, praise the name of Jesus. Just let your heart open up to God. He died that you might live. Praise the name of Jesus. He shed his blood. He did not have to do it. But he came down so long. And he shed his blood that we can sit in heavenly places. So because of that reason, we don't want to hold back on his praise. Praise the name of Jesus. Because he didn't hold back when he went to the cross. So we're not going to hold back on him. We greet our mother and pastor. Greet your mom in the precious name of Jesus. God has been good to us. God has been good to us, brethren. All of us can say it's been good. Praise the name of Jesus. And at this time, I'm going to ask Dr. Stevenson to greet the church. God bless you, sir. In Jesus. My brothers and sisters, we greet you in the matchless name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen? Amen. It's interesting, if you would go to a doctor's office, if his hands were wounded and bloody and dirty, you would not want him to touch you, right? Amen. But at the hands of Jesus are, are bleeding and wounded and dirty. From that hand, that's where we receive healing, we receive salvation. He can do anything and change your circumstances around. I will go to that wounded hands at any time. I greet our pastor, as Pastor Douglas, so the mother of our church, our beloved pastor, I am Dr. Stevenson. Uh, I have my wife, would you stand up? Uh, uh, Dr. Anita Stevenson. We have Pastor Dixon with us. And then our uh, ambassador, Chris Buckley, uh, who lives right here in London, England. So let me state that we are Reverend, my wife and I, we are Reverend Doctor. Uh, we are pastor in Maryland. We are also the president of Lexon Global Christian University. And then the university is accredited here in London, England by ASIC Accreditation Services for International School and Colleges. We have been watching your service for more than two years. When back home on YouTube, we watched Bishop Harold Blair, Bishop Davis from Portmore, and then Hackney. So every time we go to church and when we want more church, I said to my wife, we're going to watch H5 right now. Amen. So we've been watching, we've been praying, we've been communicating, and then so today we are here, you know, face to face. It is the power of God. And then we want you to know that uh, we love what you do. We, most of us are from Jamaica. If you know the late uh, Bishop Felix Poison, you know, from uh, 50 Church in Philadelphia, so he was my spiritual father. And then, so we are excited to be among you today. So we of Lexon Global Christian University. We have students all over the world. We say we cannot leave HPAC out of this. We have the lowest tuition for you, for all our brothers and sisters. So we have information that we will leave with your usher, and then they will share more with you. We have three invitations to three different churches today. We say we have to go to each part first. Amen. And then after that, we will go to the rest. So if you see we stick out of here, it's not that we're being rude and disrespectful, Mother. It's just that so we need to respond to the other two. But uh, we know by God's grace, we shall return. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Praise God. Can we have a quick word from you?
morning, church. Amen. How good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Amen. I'm from Montego Bay, Jamaica, by the way. Amen. So it's good to worship with my brothers and sisters. I was itching in my seat. I'm like, I can't wait to put this on Facebook that I worship with my brothers and sisters today in London. <laughs> and it felt like being home. But honestly, we will be back. Um, this is not really new territory for us, but we will be back because we are all a part of the kingdom of God. There's no division where the kingdom of God is concerned. It is a pleasure to worship with you, Pastor. Thank you for welcoming us, and God bless you. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. We are welcome in the house of God and we're glad to have you today in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. At this time we're going to have a word from Brother Duane and the word will be coming from Brother Howard today to the church in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. Somebody want to know, somebody need to know that God can do anything. Praise the name of Jesus. Quick word from you, Brother Duane. Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord. Reverend the of God, you to our pastor. Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord. the Spirit of God, greeting to our pastor. Greeting to each and every one. Greetings in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. I give God thanks for his loving kindness and his tender mercies. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. You know, I stand there and I just have to say, saints, that God is real. Yes. We just sang the song that when his wounded hand touched mine, I stood there and my heart broke. And I said, God, when your wounded hand touched my heart, Amen. when your wounded hand touched my heart, yes. I give God thanks. Amen. And I'm looking into, once the hand of Jesus touch you, you can never be the same. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. And when I told you saints, I stood there, my heart broke. Hallelujah. Tears start to flow from my eyes. And I say, God, I thank you. Amen. When you start to think about the wonderful, the almighty God really can touch one like you and one like me. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. We have to give him thanks. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Just like when Thomas, when Jesus appeared. Thomas was not there when he appeared the first time. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Thomas didn't believe. It's not easy for a natural man to know that he saw that someone died. Yes. And now he's been told that he, he arose. Yeah. It's not easy for the natural man to accept something like that. Yeah. But it came to a time when Jesus appeared unto him now. Yes. Jesus told him to do. Because Jesus knew within his heart that he wanted to have that real assurance that is this really real. Yes. Amen. So when he put his hand into his side, Amen. He, he had to be sure. Yes. Amen. He had to be sure because he knew that he wanted to know that it, it, this is Jesus Christ himself. Yes. And once he was able to do that, he had to say, my Lord, Yes. And my God, yes. 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 now he find out for himself. Yes. Now his spirit yes. bow down and say, My Lord, yes. and my God, yes. praise the name of Jesus. Yes. So today I'm saying to somebody, yes. when his wounded hand, yes. when his wounded hand, yes. reach your heart, yes. there will be a difference in your life. I saw we sung the song before. He said, when he reached down his hand for me. For me. Yes. He said, when he reached down his hand. Praise the name of Jesus. He said, I was lost. And I was undone. I was in sin. I was broken. I was living in shame. I was living in regret. But when he reached down his hand. For you and for me. There has to be a great change. That's the name of Jesus. And 
we know that he is real. For the sun said earlier on, up from the grave, he arose with a mighty triumph over his foes. Jesus, I say, in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Rise up and walk. Praise God. And you see they've done the wonderful works of God. The Sadducees, they did not like it. But guess what? They could not even deny the fact that a great work had been done. But because many of the people started to believe on the word of God, they said, okay, we can't deny the, the, the work that's been done. Because we clearly see the man is standing there with them. So let us put them in prison. But no matter if the devil tried to bow you, or the devil tried to bow me, the Lord thy God is mighty to yes. save. Yes. And he can break any prison wall. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes. And see, they were set free. Because yes. God is real. Yes. No matter how you may feel like you are bound and you can't move. Yes. Continue to trust God. Yes. Because he is a deliverer. Yes. And he shall set the captive free. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. So all praises be unto God because he's worthy to be praised. Pray my strength in Jesus' name. Praise the name of Jesus. We heard the message. God is a good God. Praise the name of Jesus. He can do anything. Praise God. And at this time, anyone need prayer, you can come. I came to Jesus. We were born and sad. He took my sins away. He took my sins away. I I took my sins away. He took my sins away. He took my sins away. I keep singing every day.
thank God for his love. We thank God for his blessing. Keep standing, brethren. Keep standing. Praise the name of Jesus. God has been mighty good to us. Praise the name of Jesus. And as he said to Brother Duane, our preacher today, that he has been good. He said he shed his blood. Praise God and by faith, by faith, we come to him. And he said he's a deliverer to anyone, whatever you need deliverance from. Praise the name of Jesus. God didn't come to call the righteous. So not because you see us in here clapping and worshiping. Some of us were worse than the position you are in now. And the blood that reached to the lowest valley, it reaches our heart. That's why we can be here today. And we want the same to happen to you. Pray. So whatever deliverance is for, you can't go too far where the blood can't reach you. Because he said it flows to the highest mountain. And it goes to the lowest valley. And it's the blood that will strengthen you. It's the blood that will deliver you. It's the blood that can move all infirmities. Doctor can't help us, none of us. But the blood can reach. Praise the name of Jesus. No solicitor can help you. Because all they do, they say, tell us the truth and we lie for you. But we want God to be in the situation. So whatever situation you walk in here today, Believe me, by faith, it's already done. It's already done. The very fact that God said come to church today and you obey his voice and come. Any situation, believe by faith right now. Whatever is in your heart, it is already done. God bless you. We're going to ask for the agent to come and close in prayer for us. In Jesus' name. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes, trust God. Sometimes it might seem, it seem as if it's not working, but it's not your time, it's in his time. Father God, we honor you. We glorify and we worship you. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity today. Thank you, Lord, that we can come into your house. Thank you, oh Lord, that we can bring, oh God, the thing that trouble our hearts daily that we can come and leave it at your house. Father God, we thank you that you went on the cross, that you, no God, that you, oh Lord, took our sin and our burden that we couldn't carry. God, that you died that we may have life today, oh Lord God Almighty. Father God, I thank you. I glorify and honor your name, oh Lord Jesus. Father God, you have done something so precious. Father God, that our mother and father couldn't do. God, we thank you for a second chance at life, oh God Almighty. Father God, we thank you that you have heard us today. Thank you for the words of life, oh God. Thank you that you use your son, Lord, to speak to our hearts today. Father God, we pray that we receive it, oh Lord. And that we will work upon it, oh God, that we shall come to you, oh God Almighty. Where we will be redeemed, oh God, my Father. I pray, oh Lord, that you continue to take charge and control over us, oh God. And that you will give us the victory. God, we thank you that you're the healer today. Thank you that you are the deliverer, oh God, my Father. We thank you for the opening doors, oh God, my Savior. I thank you, oh God, that we're in our right mind to call upon your holy name, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that our pastor could be here today. Father God, we thank you, oh God, that you have not cast us out. We thank you, oh God Almighty, that we can come in this fashion to give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor, oh God, my Savior. I pray, oh God, that we will depart one from another. God, that we will go with you in our hearts. And that as we go along the roads, oh God, or as we drive, oh God, that we will have you on our mind. God, that what we have heard today, that we may share it with our other. In Jesus' mighty name.